Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to yet another uh, brand new game. So, this is a new kaiju game. I'm not sure what this kaiju game is called. Wait, let me check real quick. Um, I forgot the name of the game. I think it's... Uh... Oh, here it, here it is. Uh, so far, the game is called Kaiju Detected. And for some reason, I find that really weird because um i don't know if that's just me but it seems to be uh i, I don't want to say it anymore let's just let's just move on to the amazing godzilla model that is upon us right here so this game kaiju detected is actually uh testers only so you guys were uh are not able to play this game yet but luckily for you guys you have me so yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and showcase the beautiful model of Godzilla Evolved right here. But first, I'm just gonna let you guys see the idle animation right here, which I find really, really amazing. The animations here are just amazing. Just look at this. Yeah, so I, I don't know I don't know if that's just me, but I really like that idle animation. The way Godzilla just moves around and uh, moves all almost all of his extremities right here, such as the upper extremities, such as the arms right here, and the hands also move and stuff. Uh, the legs also move, but not as much, and it makes sort of a balanced idle animation. If you guys get what I mean, but yeah, this is a really good idle animation for me so moving on we have the walking animation right here walking animation looks uh decent uh they the, the thing that they could do here is they could add effects here to make godzilla look or feel more heavy here because you know godzilla is a 300 foot creature so it would be amazing to let the players know that this guy is really heavy and is a almost building level type of creature right there. Uh, but yeah, this is the walking animation. And I don't know if... Yeah, it does... The legs sort of shake, but not as much. The tail... The tail could also use some more motion. I don't know. It looks a bit stiff to me, but it's amazing. Having an animated Godzilla, amazing model, and an amazing idle animation. Here's the running running animation, by the way. I think this matches with the movie's running animation. If you guys can, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but yeah, this is the new Godzilla 2024 model for Kaiju Detected. Um. I believe in their next updates, they're going to add PvP, so we're going to see Godzilla having some fighting animations in the next update for this game, but yeah. Uh, if you guys want some more kaiju-detected content, just uh, uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and also join their Discord just to show your support for uh, Godzilla games that are at risk of being deleted by Toho, but... They're still doing it for the funsies. Uh, but anyway, here it is once again. Let's just have a 360 look right there. Now the model is actually made by, uh, I think it was made by Mr. Pakate, but I forgot. So sorry about that. But I think it is made by him, since I have seen this model before. And if you guys uh, want to see some more Godzilla here, this is Godzilla um, Evolved without without it being charged as much. That's what it looks like. So it's a pale kind of salmon pink type of color for the spines there. And if he is glowing, he glows really bright pink and he if he is supercharged this is what it looks like so if we use this an atomic breath that's what Godzilla would look like but we aren't going to see that yet 
um, right now, but in the next updates, hopefully we can see an atomic breath attack. But so far, this is what we got to work with. So I really don't like uh, games uh, sort of releasing uh, that early as uh, like uh, like this one uh, or like Hydra Antiverse where they let players test uh, the models and stuff and paying for it uh, without any um, any solid gameplay. I just I don't know. It kind of looks weird because you pay for a game with just models and just walk around and run without actually interacting with other players and stuff. But this this is fine. We are able to test some of the animations and stuff and PvP for the next update, I believe, which is really, really awesome for this game. Now, hopefully they can come up with something really amazing with the PvP because this model is just phenomenal. Now, I think the next model that they're actually working on is Heisei Godzilla, but... Ugh. Not to hate on Heisei Godzilla, but that was just me being tired. But anyways, um, yeah, let's just take uh, some more looks at the Godzilla right there. So, walking animation, 360. Running animation, 360. And some map exploration. I don't, need, I don't think this is going to be an official map, but yeah, I'm just going to explore and stuff. Now, hopefully Shimo is one of their next ones because the Shimo that they're going to use is the one that I deemed one of the best models of Shimo ever made in God's, in uh, Roblox history. Uh, but yeah, so far the only um, good models that I've seen of a Godzilla 2024 is this one and the one from Kaiju Revolution. Wait, let, let me see that Godzilla one more time. I think Kaiju Revolution is actually doing pretty good with their models. Um, especially with their Shin Godzilla. I don't know if you guys have seen their Shin Godzilla before, but they are doing good. To... They're going, yeah. Expect a lot of great things from from that game, and also this game. Because if you guys are judging from the Godzilla 2024 alone, I think the models are going to be phenomenal once they come up with more kaiju's in the future. So, yeah. So if you guys uh, want to see uh, once again some more content of kaiju detected, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to end the video here because. There's nothing else left to show, and I don't want to bore you guys with some of my words anymore. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like these. But with that, that'll be it. I'll talk to you all later.